What's up guys, it's Drek, and this is the blaster that begs the question that if other companies can bling bling entire things, why can't I get gold paint on both sides of my premium product? Yep, it's Ultra 5 review time. Let's break it down. All right, so after sneak peeking this bad boy on our Instagram, we've got to answer some questions. We've let the rumor mill churn for a couple of days now, and uh, a lot of people are correct, and some people are a little off base. So that's usually how speculation goes. This area down here is, in fact, an internal magazine. That internal magazine is giving you access to up to four ultra darts of storage. The ultra darts being kind of thick boys. Uh, they're not quite 50 cal foam, so even though this is larger than the Magnus in terms of its uh, overall size, it really doesn't have that much more capacity than it. I've always kind of liked the internal smart uh, magazine style system. I still to date think that nobody did it better than the dart tag blasters with the Velcro tips. I really liked how those worked in particular, but the breaches have gotten far more efficient, honestly far more reliable. And uh, this is a unique instance of the ultra ammo being pretty good. Uh, it might be the only instance other than waterproofing of the ultra darts being pretty good. These lips here are pretty stiff, the ones that kind of hold the darts in place after you've pushed them in. Uh, the normal foam body, which is great for Springer barrel fits, uh, does not always uh, gently push through there. Sometimes it gets kind of crunched in the process. These are pretty stiff, so all the way through, they, uh, they tease in just fine. Now, it's assuming you can line them up. This one's, there we are. So there's one, two, three, and then four. And four is honestly like the top end of what is possible with this blaster. When we rack this forward again, it does chamber pretty smoothly and partially. Uh, that's because there really isn't a lot of barrel fit. This is using something very similar to the Ultra 4 in that it has kind of a tightening ring and not really an effective barrel length. As far as its performance goes, well, it sounds like it's got the same sort of to it and should be pretty snappy. I'm hoping that it gets those same 90 FPS readings, but the Ultra Darts being made of polystyrene prove something that I've been pretty adamant about in the hobby for a very long time, which is that good numbers over a chronograph do not necessarily denote good performance uh, ballistically. And that's been like a real issue for a long time. There's a couple of idiots on the Reddit who think that like the higher the FPS, uh, the better the blaster. So I've never really believed that. I care way more about like, can you hit things with your build? Does it have good uh, efficiency in terms of plunger volume to barrel to dart to uh, coefficient of friction to its overall drag, like et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. So at this point, we've gotten pretty good at flinging foam. Uh, and I just don't think that the ultra darts are an honest or effective way of accomplishing that goal. That said, uh, let's talk about the ergonomics before we take it downstairs and figure out those numbers. We've discussed four dart capacity and then empty, no auto retracting on this, you pull it all the way back, uh, and then you're gonna have to push it all the way forward to chamber. Obviously no slam fire, you pull all the way back, and it just snaps forward if you're holding that trigger down. Now, uh, another interesting thing, this trigger not particularly comfortable because they keep making this pinch zone here. Uh, luckily, uh, the grip is angled such that you are pulling up on that trigger, so it's not as bad. That means spinning forward is fine, spinning backwards is not gonna be particularly pleasant. Now the one big gripe that I've seen a lot of people specking on is how about this funky knuckle duster foregrip thing, this kind of trigger guard? And the answer is uh, Ultra is not really good at trigger guards, but while the Ultra 1 is criminally bad, the Ultra 4 was a little bit better. Uh, this honestly isn't the end of the world. I have large hands. I think that this is being pitched towards performance-based i.e. older audiences, particularly with that, uh, that safety threshold in mind. Now, don't get me wrong, Hasbro knows for a fact that this is not as good a product as Rival in terms of its performance, which is why they're not actually putting a safety on the blaster because they know they don't have to legally. And if we've learned anything from the deco of the blasters, it's that Hasbro is in a place where its corporate position on toy design right now is don't spend any money that you don't have to. Why deliver a good product when you could deliver one that's good enough? Um, that said, uh, this isn't terrible. There's plenty of room for both of my fingers as long as I'm not on the knuckles. So if I'm fully in there, uh, everything is fine. Um, this trigger is a little cramped and just honestly kind of strangely angled, but other than that, it's pretty okay. 
are you ever doing anything with this where you're going to be really grateful to, to have that kind of knuckle guard? I don't really know. And the plastic is that chewy, soft kind of ABS that we've come to expect, not only from other blasters in this line, but uh, Hasbro's been doing this for a long, long time. Plenty of orange on the muzzle, lots of uh, kind of sci-fi vibes. This definitely looks like something that should be in like District 9 to me. Uh, and I'm sure someone will paint it up that way. But uh, mod guide talk aside, let's take it outside. Let's put it over the chronograph. Let's see what it does performance wise. So it's a bright and blustery day. We'll make sure that we give the ultra darts the, uh, the tailwind as we fire down range. We want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, but in the meantime, let's load up at least three, put them over the chronograph. Then we'll probably do a couple more before we do an actual range segment. And let's see what kind of numbers we get. This is leftover from our Ultra 4 mod guide. Hopefully you guys already checked that out and enjoyed. Leave me a comment if you did. I'd really appreciate knowing that. 98. 99. Can I get 100? 80. Well, not all that glitters is gold, eh? Um, would have been cool if we could have counted up. So this seems to be nearly identical to the Ultra 4 in terms of its performance. Uh, it is only $5 more, and I think that makes it unequivocally a better product if you want to support this product line. The combination of an internal magazine for an extra five bucks uh, combined with like slightly cooler design ergo, in my opinion, um, is interesting. So there's 98, duplicate 98, and a 97. So not too terrible. We have two shots left. Let's go ahead and put those down range. And just uh, see, again, uh, we can only speculate that the Ultra Line is going to be claiming these exorbitant ranges. So let's see how these bad boys perform. There we go. All right. Uh, a slight chambering hiccup there. I don't think that there's any avoiding that. The magazine, not magazine, the Magnus used to do that in its magazine as well. Uh, it's just that sometimes if the darts don't fully pop uh, at 90 degrees, I guess, or 180 degrees, if they don't pop, parallel to the barrel they'll kind of funky and then you have to like jimmy it so that the barrel leaves space for them the dart falls into the kind of open aperture there and then you can chamber properly so let's uh something about the the weird double finger down here definitely leads me to wanting to point this way and fire with my middle finger and uh since that feels more natural more comfortable to me i'm gonna do it why not uh we'll do one level Ooh. Well, there we are. Uh, that's a sweet 40 foot shot. And then we'll angle one down yonder. Great word, yonder. And getting about 65, uh, possibly we'll say 70 with the bounce out of that one. But uh, not a terrible blaster overall. Again, I think that the faults with this line lie mostly in the marketing uh, and the kind of starting point. Overall, what is it? It's a Magnus that fires ultra darts. It holds one extra, and I kind of like the aesthetic of the Ultra 5. I think that it looks pretty cool, all things considered. That said, uh, it's still an Ultra Blaster. It's still using this proprietary ammo that's not particularly good uh, and exorbitantly overpriced. Um, however, uh, if I was going to pick one of these up, if I was forced to fight in an Ultra battle, I think that the Ultra 5 would be my go-to. I think that it's, uh, it's definitely not a bad one. Uh, so to speak. I think that the 4 is very poorly designed with its gear train. Um, I think that the 1 is just terrible design all the way around in terms of its overall ergonomics and performance. I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on the 2 because I think that that one has the most potential for being recaged and rebarreled into something. Uh, but we'll be doing a full modification guide for this one on my Twitch. That's twitch.tv backslash vampire drag and that'll be going live tonight at 9 p.m. Uh, it would mean a lot to me if you check it out. The link will be in the description box below. And I just, I love hanging out with you guys. Something about connecting with my audience in live fashion is very special. And then the final plug is that February is coming up and it's not too late to get in on our February Patreon patch. Uh, the last one was pretty big and pretty snarky. This one's uh, not snarky at all. It's just in support of a great product and it's really small. And I'm just gonna be honest, I, I wanted one of them to be pretty small at the beginning of the year. Everybody has cool patches now, and so any way that you can kind of sneak a cool patch onto your patch wall is pretty special. So if your tactical gear is running out of space and you want to support the last uh, Honest Nerf channel standing, then uh, it would mean an awful, awful lot to me if you hopped into my Patreon at that true fan level, and I'd be happy 
to put one of these in the mail with your name on it. Uh, for everybody else, thank you so much for watching the channel, supporting the content. As always, much love, Nerf on Drek out. <laughs>